Hi, I'm Peter Weldon and uh, welcome to my patch. Um, we're here in Crumman Valley in Queensland. I've got a typical four bed rotation going here. It's about nine square metre beds. Um, I run three uh, rows of irrigation down them and they start the drip line so I'm not spraying water everywhere. It's pretty concentrated onto the garden itself. And I just basically plant the beds like to family and I try and grow a lot of the stuff that we eat. And at this time of the year where it's subtropical, um, it gets a bit hot over summer, the insects are pretty bad, so uh, we don't get a lot of stuff now, but we're at the very tail end of the winter season and um, we haven't had to buy a lot from the local markets for a, a couple of months now. It's been pretty good. Uh, we're growing, we've got broccoli growing here. Uh, basil's still hanging on. It's great because it, it gets all the bees to the, to the garden. We've got some dill just in front of the camera there. There's eggplants growing here. This has been my Solanaceae or Nightshade's bed. It's overgrown at the moment. There's pumpkins in it. I love it like this. It's a bit wild. Um, the, the bed that's built up behind me, ready to go for the new season, has got a little bit of fennel in the back, but it's um, all set now to be the, um, uh, the Solanaceae bed, so I'll actually dig out these eggplants and shift them into there in the change of season now. I've got all my sweet potato, uh, turmeric, ginger, so, um, and carrots, beetroot, all of that was growing in, in bed too, we'll call it this one here, um, and that's just about ready to be dug up now. Uh, and this bed here has been the heavy feeders, so when I first get into this bed um, I planted a whole heap of things like beans and snow peas and stuff and they lock nitrogen in to the soil. So um, bed one is prepped, ready to plant. Bed two is my root veggie bed uh, and it's now about to be turned, it'll be placed into this one and so forth. So it's a rotation. Each bed lasts a year and, um, and I think we're at, we'll go here and just quickly chat about this bed. Um, when, when I'm going to grow heavy feeders like brassicas in here, um, I, like they strip a lot of nitrogen out of the soil. Like look, look at the leaves, I mean they're just massive. So basically that takes nitrogen to, to build those and therefore I put in nitrogen fixes like um, my snow peas and my beans there. And then I plant those so they, this one helps feed the other one, it's like a little system. It's really cool and all this sort of stuff's on my Facebook page. Like I, I keep a diary of, of the garden there, it's called Pete's Organic Patch. Um, and it's a pretty good resource if you're interested in this sort of stuff. I definitely don't um, use any pesticides, anything like that. I mean, it, it's part of the reason why I grow it. I mean, it's not just for fun, it's for feeding our family. Um, and I want to feed the best possible stuff to my family I can. In this regard, um, we're cutting down food miles and I've got my own chooks and stuff too. Um, it's, it's really cool, we, you know, with the spring and, and this garden here, it's being fed by good water from the spring. Um, I'm a big believer in getting your soil right, so pH is one of the things I look at all the time. Um, if I don't need to amend pH to get calcium into the soil I use gypsum, especially here we have like volcanic soil so it becomes like clay, so the gypsum is good to break it up a little bit and make it a little easier for the plants to get their roots in and access the nutrients that they need. Um, I'm really proud of this garden, um, it's been a lot of work and an ongoing thing. It started as just like there, it wasn't a raised bed, it, they were just mounds. And um, as time's gone, I've seen opportunities to build up the sides. I've had friends who said, oh, I've got some scrap tin, blah, blah, blah. And I've been like, right, I'll have it, please. Just little things like that, being resourceful where possible. It might be a little bit of an eyesore. It's certainly overgrown at the moment, but I love it and I'm really proud of it. So, um, yeah, this time of the year, it's, it's just about ready for a change. But we've certainly fed the family out of it really well so far. <laughs>